So on day 34 of the New Testament, we've really got a game of questions and answers going on. Jesus is asked uh, three different questions by the Pharisees, first of all with the Herodians, then by the Sadducees, then by the Pharisees again. And uh, what we learn from this, first of all, is that you ask, if you ask Jesus a tricky question, a difficult question, he will outfox you. And it's not to say that Jesus isn't up for having real discussions and wanting to engage with difficult questions. Actually, one of the amazing things about God in the Bible is that all the way through, people are really honest with him. They're, they're asking him, well, how can you allow that? And what's going on here? You just read some of the Psalms or some of the prophets, you see that happening. But here is a bit different. They're trying to trip him up, really. And Jesus gets out. First of all, he, you know, he um, responds to these guys who are asking about what do we give to Caesar? And that's a politically charged question. If Jesus was to say, oh, don't pay the tax, uh, he could be in trouble. If he was to say, you should definitely pay the tax, then he could be classed as unpatriotic by the Jews. So he simply says, well, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And I'll effectively leave it up to you uh, to, to interpret that, which is a great way of getting out of it. And then the Sadducees, they didn't believe in the resurrection, which is why they were sad, you see. And they... Um, they ask a question about the resurrection. They're really kind of poking fun about any sort of notion of the resurrection. And Jesus responds with such power. He takes their scriptures and he says, hang on a second. It says here that, you know, that Moses is alive. Abraham is alive. God is the God of uh, the living, not of the dead. And um, in there you see just a little glimpse of something about the resurrection. We don't get loads of detail about what the resurrection is going to look like other than Jesus being resurrected. Uh, there's not a whole lot of information about what this is going to feel like and be like, but we know that it's going to be in some sense very different from the life that we live now. And yet at the same time, it's going to be completely concrete and completely real. And we can look forward to that. And then this final little thing, uh, what's the greatest commandment? Jesus says very clearly, it's to love the Lord and it's to love the neighbour. And for us today, sometimes our, our Christianity um, can become a little bit complicated and sometimes it needs to be. You know, sometimes we have really deep questions that require thoughtful um, and sometimes not that simple answers. At the same time, what it all boils down to is that we live a life where we love God and we love our neighbour. So if you're watching this at the start of the day, aim to do that today. If you're watching this at the end of the day, why not reflect for a few minutes? How today have I loved God? How have I loved you, Lord? You know, what are the ways I've tried to do that? How have I loved my neighbour today? Has that become a priority for me as I follow you, Lord?